I think about the partnership between Tri-Delta and St. Jude, the first thing that comes to mind is pride. I'm so proud of our collegiate women for all of the things that they've done to support the organization as well as our alumna members. And not only that, but I believe that this is truly our responsibility and we're living up to that goal that we have. Tri-Delta's commitment to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital began in 1999 when you adopted the hospital as your national philanthropic partner. Since then, collegiate and alumni members have raised millions for the kids of St. Jude, including an endowment to the hospital's teen room. We're saving lives here, and it's so awesome that I get to say we, and that I get to be a partner of St. Jude, and that continues to motivate me to come back and to give in whatever way that I can. Tri-Delta's latest accomplishment, 10 by 10, surpassed your own expectations to raise $10 million in 10 years. Collegiate and alumni members raised $10 million by 2010, six years ahead of schedule. This remarkable accomplishment named the Tri-Delta patient care floor in the Chili's Care Center, a state-of-the-art facility for some of St. Jude's sickest patients. Your floor at St. Jude is a place where parent rooms are attached to patient rooms, which allows families to stay together while their children are in the hospital. We were inpatient for 12 days his, when he was diagnosed. And I was walking to the cafeteria. And you know, when you're diagnosed, you're in a daze. You're just, you're kind of in a fog. And uh, I was walking down the hall and looking at all these plaques and all of a sudden, you know, it says Tridel. I must tell you that I was incredibly proud and um, I, I had no idea the amount of money at that point that had been committed and raised. I had no idea. At the age of two, Evans already knew he had problems. Today, he's a little older. I'm six years old. And quite a bit wiser, but he's still got problems. My sister Meryl always annoys me. These days, Evans is grateful his biggest problem is still an annoying older sister. A few years ago, he faced a much bigger problem, the kind that might have taken him from his family forever. We thought he had an ear infection. He started running a fever. He also was moaning at night, which we thought was because we'd taken the pacifier away. At first, Melise wasn't alarmed, but when Evans' discomfort worsened, she took him to the pediatrician. The doctor visit prompted more tests, and Malise started to realize something was seriously wrong. We got to the place to have his blood tested. I looked around, and I looked at my husband, and I said, something is so wrong with him. His skin was not the color of anybody else. You know, you could just, all of a sudden, as a mom, it just hit me. After the tests were done, the family's pediatrician called and said, they're waiting for you at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. At St. Jude, Evans received more tests. Well, what happens is the doctor tells you at 8 a.m., I'm almost positive he has leukemia. Then the doctor comes in your room at 10 o'clock and says, um, he has ALL. And I said to him, can you treat him? And he said, no, we're going to cure him. When St. Jude opened in 1962, the survival rate for acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, the most common form of childhood cancer, was 4%. Today, the survival rate for this once deadly disease is 94%, thanks to research and treatment protocols developed at St. Jude. They had chemo in him at two o'clock the next day. Evans received chemotherapy for three years at St. Jude. The average cost of treating an ALL patient is more than half a million dollars, but St. Jude families don't have to carry that burden. Melise remembers when her husband, Byron, heard the news. It was probably the second day we were here. He went down to the business office and he told him, he said, okay, I think I had cancer insurance. I'm not sure, started a new job. And the lady just looked at him and said, sir, this is, this is taken care of. Go be with your family. It takes the whole weight of the world off of you because now you can just focus on your family. And you see this yellow stuff? That's his methotrexate. That's what we get almost every Wednesday. 
That's what they're putting in him right now for the last time. Our patients have the cutest S-M-I-L-E. Our patients have the sweetest H-E-A-R-T. Oh, we love to see you every day. So now's the time we get to say, pack up your bags, get out the door. You don't get chemo anymore. <laughs> I would say he wore those boots probably 90% of the time that he was here. And um, he grew out of them like a month ago. And I was kind of sad because I think those boots symbolize so much because uh, he kicked cancer. Our life as we know it would not exist today if it had not been for the work that Tri-Delta had done. Melissa's Tri-Delta sisters have helped create a bright future for her son. Your ongoing commitment to St. Jude will help many more children like Evans. Thank you for making these kids a part of your Tri-Delta family.